Hey guys, so the 30th anniversary packs, I finally figured out who the product was meant to be. I thought it was whales. I mean, with the price tag of $1,000, how would I not think it is a whale, right? Because who else could afford it? We are in a Joe Biden recession. Things have hit the fan. In fact, I have officially no longer buying any more magic cards. I still will buy Pokemon cards and I will buy magic cards for my distributor because my distributor will sign a contract and I didn't read the contract clearly. It says that I do have to buy some amount of magic cards a year. So I'm kind of locked in there, but I'm not gonna buy this product. I'm probably the content creator who is most excited about the product. I thought this product could do the most good because if I'm gonna do a live stream, then yes, this high-end product would be perfect. People love high-end products. I've watched enough backyard breaks to realize, you know, the products with the best margins are actually the products that people want most, and they tend to be just the most expensive product you have. And when somebody comes in your live stream and says, you know what, I'm a whale, let me flop around, I want to buy out your most expensive product. And this happens a lot on backyard breaks. All right, now focus, you know, keeping your focus on just, right now, no one can buy the product. As of the moment I'm recording this video, no one can buy the product. It has not been for sale online. Then the question is, why do so many people have the product? Well, the product was given for free. Let me repeat this again. The product is being given en masse for free. Who's it being given to? It's being given to VIP members of the Magic Fest in Las Vegas. It's being given to uh, Hunter Pence, Post Malone, Cassius Mars, Steve Aoki. Is there like something that we can gather from this? It's given from you know Carmen and you know all these people who love cancel culture and cancel Teresa Nielsen. Brian Kibler is part of this. You know he's actually the one making the video commercial. Who's he's still doing Hearthstone? On his channel, I checked the other day, he still doesn't make any magic videos, he's still just making Hearthstone videos every day. Uh, Savaz has probably received a bunch. So like, who's being given? So if at this point in time, no one can buy the product, which is true, right? The product has not been released for online sale. But how come there's so many videos of people opening the product? There's so many Instagram posts. You know, the one thing that I made the connection was Hunter Pence. I track Hunter Pence and you might be like, oh, why? He has a store in Houston that I think is the evolution of what every store will have to be. His store in Houston is called Coral Sword. I've never been there before. So I, let me put it this way. I, I think I've been there once, way, way in the beginning before I even knew Hunter Pence. And that's to just investigate. But Hunter Pence owns a store with his wife. I believe his name, her name is Alexis, and her wife is also a geeky, nerdy influencer, right? With a large following as well, I believe. And Hunter Pence was a baseball player. He played for the Giants. I, I, maybe he played for the Astros too, but I think he won the World Series with the Giants. And he is a relatively well-known. He has millions of followers. Most of them are baseball fans. Most of them are not magic fans. And this is the key to understand. They probably gave product to, I mean, I'm, I'm sure Post Malone has a lot of product. He's a musician. Most of his millions of fans are not magic players. They, I mean, this is why Post Malone has his own card. He has the same relationship with magic that Rudy has with MetaZoo, Rudy has with Flesh and Blood. He has that exact same relationship. So when Rudy gets free product, Post Malone get when Rudy gets free MetaZoo or discounted MetaZoo Flesh and Blood product, he gets his own promos. This is the exact same treatment they did with Post Malone. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if, again, this one thousand dollar product was really, you know, where did the price come from? What other products in the card industry are cost a thousand dollars outside sports? Okay, outside sports. I don't know any Pokemon packs that cost of our Pokemon boxes that, you know, are standard that cost a thousand dollars that they're printing and you can buy online. The only thing I know online that you can get for a thousand dollars is Rudy's first edition Mardock thing and then Rudy promos. So this is like 
mind-blowing because it's such a clever marketing move because everyone again no one has bought one of these yet online so the the majority maybe you bought it from the secondary market but nobody has bought one of it whatnot has been opening them like crazy you see every day people open them on whatnot and whatnot was at the uh, 30th anniversary festival opening packs all the time of this product so how did they get it? Well, I mean, there's only one person who can give it to you and it's Wizards of the Coast, it's Hasbro. So Hasbro thinks that you're a big enough influencer. They think that you, you know, their marketing team thinks that, you know, hey, let's just, instead of paying this guy, let's just give him some free packs. The packs cost nothing for them to print. Nothing for them to print. Maybe 10 cents a pack for them to print. And it costs definitely more for them to ship than it costs for them to print. Well, why don't we just pay Post Malone in packs? Why don't we just pay Hunter Pence in packs? Hey, Hunter Pence says his Instagram, like if he posts about it on Instagram, he wants $40,000. All right, we'll give you $400,000 in packs because it costs us only $4 to print. So this is what I think is going on because right now you see a shit ton of packs in the wild. You see them everywhere on Instagram, you see them everywhere on YouTube, you see them on TikTok. And the question is like, how did these people get so many packs? Why is like everyone and their grandmother opening packs right now when it's not widely, it, it, there's no way for me to, how can I explain? You should not be able to open this many amounts of packs because the packs are not for sale yet. So you must have got them for free. So everyone who's opening a pack right now or a box or something and posting on YouTube, posting Instagram, TikTok, social media, Facebook, and there's plenty of them, they were given these packs for free. That's what is happening. Nobody will pay a dime for these packs. And this is very concerning to me. If you pay $1,000 for the pack, you're the only idiot who did. If you wait until end of November, you pay, you buy a few packs and then you're like, oh, cool. 